Welcome into the Ravens Rundown by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us. Coming up on today's show, we are going to be discussing Marcus Peters and the possibility of bringing him back to Baltimore. Also, Patrick Queen, is he on the chopping block? Could we see a trade involving the Ravens linebacker? We'll discuss both of those things coming up in just a matter of moments. Before we do, folks, we are getting close to 9,500 subscribers here on the channel we are at a nice 69 subscribers away from reaching that milestone and we need your help to get there so 69 of you out there uh whatever you're doing stop and hit subscribe on the channel that way you can get the latest happenings on your favorite team as we have news and rumors segments we do live shows from time to time we are covering the uh, Baltimore Ravens like no one else is. So go ahead and subscribe for free today. YouTube.com slash Ravens TV. Turn on notifications so you never miss a moment. You'll be glad you did. Marcus Peters remains available in NFL free agency. And over the weekend, John Harbaugh spoke to the media and he was asked about the idea of potentially bringing back Marcus Peters. And to kind of set the scene for you, uh, the Ravens, within the you know, last few days, ended up signing Rock Yassin, uh, who previously played for the Las Vegas Raiders and the Indianapolis Colts as a starting corner. At the time he was signed, he was the best corner on the market that was available. So the Ravens signed him to play alongside Marlon Humphrey. And with that signing, there was an idea that, okay, then, well, looks like Marcus Peters has been replaced. Not so fast. Harbaugh, speaking to the media, said that they haven't ruled out the possibility of bringing back Marcus Peters in addition to signing Rockyson as well. Here's more from John Harbaugh. I don't think you ever really close the door on any personnel move, whoever it might be. You'd probably ask me about Marcus and whatever other corners are out there. You don't close the door on good players and good people You just see how it goes. So it's a vague answer, but it's an answer nonetheless that there is still a possibility that Marcus Peters could be making his way back to the Baltimore Ravens when it's all said and done. What say you? It's our pen comment today. You might get an ad break if so, take advantage of it. Should Baltimore bring back Marcus Peters? Why for yes and for no? Tell me why. Let us know in the comment section one way or the other how you feel about the idea of bringing Marcus Peters back to the Baltimore Ravens. Let me know what you think. Now, what's interesting with this situation for the Ravens, now that Lamar has his new contract, this team has a little bit of flexibility, a little bit. And the way that we've seen the market go for Marcus Peters with free agency over the last several weeks, it doesn't appear to be that there's a whole lot of teams necessarily showing interest in Marcus Peters. And so those two things, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, the Ravens all of a sudden have a little bit of money to spend, a little bit, and Marcus Peters probably isn't going to command as much as what some may have thought. So this potentially could work just fine for the Baltimore Ravens if they want Marcus Peters. Uh, A refresher on Marcus Peters. Joined the Ravens back in 2019, previously playing for the Rams and the Kansas City Chiefs. In 2021, did not play at all after tearing his ACL prior to that season beginning. Last year started 13 games for the Baltimore Ravens. He's had a very good career. He's been successful everywhere he's been. Now we'll see if uh, the Ravens want to give him another shot here. The uh, numbers on Marcus Peters, let's show you those, by the way. In the 13 games he played last year, he had one interception, 47 tackles, two tackles for loss, and six pass breakups. You go back to what he did in 2020 and 2019, that's what really stands out. 2019 season, five interceptions, 14 pass breakups. 2020, 52 tackles, nine tackles for loss, nine pass breakups, and four interceptions. The thing with Marcus Peters that... We've said his entire career with his time with the Chiefs and with the Rams and most recently with the Ravens here is that 
you are going to see Marcus Peters give up some big plays. Uh, he is going to get beat at times, but he's going to be a force to be reckoned with, that he can create those turnovers. So you get the good, you get the bad with Marcus Peters. A little bit older now, but if he doesn't cost you so much, then uh, Marcus Peters being your number three corner, then maybe that could work for the Baltimore Ravens. Name a player you think the Ravens should sign, whether it's Marcus Peters or somebody else. Let me know in the comments section who you'd like to see be a Baltimore Raven when it's all said and done. Got a great deal that we're offering of Ravens jerseys that are on sale, whether it's the Zay Flowers, Marcus Williams jersey, Lamar Jackson, uh, maybe even want to throw it back to Ray Lewis. Uh, we also have those options available to you. And you can get them in all different shapes and sizes, whether you want uh, the purple jersey, maybe the gold, the black, the white, whatever it may be. We have all sorts of players. We have all sorts of colors. And whatever your size is, we, we got you taken care of as well. Get your Ravens jersey now. Be rocking out with your flock out during the offseason, representing your favorite team, and you'll be glad you did. Chatsports.com slash Ravens jersey to get yours today. That's chatsports.com slash Ravens jersey. Patrick Queen, could he be done in Baltimore? Speculation has really ramped up quite a bit in the last couple of weeks about his future. If you recall, the Ravens declined his fifth-year option, and Trenton Simpson was picked in the third round, the linebacker out of Clemson. We saw the tweets from Patrick Queen as well. He didn't seem necessarily too pleased about that. And so now you wonder, is Patrick Queen on the way out? Is he being replaced with his Baltimore Ravens team? Well, here's more from SI's Ravens country. The writing may be on the wall for Queen after Baltimore drafted Clemson linebacker Trenton Simpson in the third round of the NFL draft last weekend. With his future in doubt in Baltimore, the rumor mill has already started to swirl about the fate of Queen. It's certainly, uh, It would certainly make sense for the Ravens to try to trade him this season in order to receive something for him rather than watching him walk away in free agency. Here's the deal. Here's where I look at it. I've liked Patrick McQ Patrick Queen. I've been a fan of his uh, throughout his career. And I know that he's he's taken a lot of heat uh, from Ravens fans over the last couple years with the lack thereof of production, right? Not living up necessarily to the, hy uh, the hype of being a former first-round pick. And last year, the, the experts at the beginning of the year were talking about how slow his season started and, and all that. But you can't argue about the talent. I thought he finished off the year well. He and Roquan Smith played well together. Um, he's been a reliable force. He started every game for the Baltimore Ravens since 2020. And the truth of the matter is, no matter how you slice it for this Baltimore Ravens team, you, you, you either need to shit or get off the pot. I mean, let's, let's be honest here. It's one of the two. Either offer the man... Uh, a contract that keeps him in Baltimore beyond this upcoming season and keep him around, be a part of your long-term plans, or trade him, get the most you can out of him, and move forward with Trenton Simpson. One or the other here. Just sitting pat and not doing anything and then letting him walk in free agency next year would be an absolute waste of everybody's time and resources, and you will want to get anything out of him. So if I'm the Ravens, do one or the other, even. Give the man a new deal and keep him around or trade him and be done with him and call it good and wipe your hands clean, go on from there. And everybody's happy. So that's what I look at. I, For me, it's just one or the other. Just do something. Don't sit back. I I'm okay with trading him. I'm okay with keeping him. But it's got to be a new contract to keep him. What should the Ravens do? Should they trade Patrick Queen? Let me know in the comments section. T for trade. P for pass. What do you think? Should the Ravens move on from Patrick Queen or not? Let us know in the comments section. T for trade, P for pass. Hit me up on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Tyler Jones Live. You can find me there talking about your Baltimore Ravens, and I shall see you next time right here on the Ravens Rundown. Thanks for joining us.